Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to permanently delete files from your Dropbox account. So, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but if you went ahead and deleted files from your Dropbox account, they're not permanently deleted. They're actually still stored on Dropbox's website uh, for 30 days if you have the basic account and one year if you've upgraded to a paid membership. Now, if you're deleting files that are uh, very sensitive in nature and you do not want a copy of those files to remain anywhere, then you have to go online and delete them manually once you've deleted them. Otherwise, they'll be stored there for 30 days or longer, uh, depending on what you have for an account. So I'm going to go ahead and delete two files off my Dropbox today just to show you, and then we'll go ahead and permanently delete them. So the two files I'm going to delete is the test file and this zipped uh, font file here. I'm going to delete them, one of them from my Dropbox folder here on my desktop, and I'm going to delete the other one from the website interface. You can also delete them from the mobile app as well. So for the, for the first one, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and delete it here off my computer. And as you can see here, it's going to be automatically deleted here on the website. And the second one I'm going to delete here off the website. And it will automatically be deleted off the Dropbox folder. So as you can see, the, the, the folder and the website keep everything uh, synced completely together. Now, the only problem is I've deleted one of these files off my Dropbox folder here on my desktop, which means that that file is automatically going to go into this uh, uh, recycling bin. So just remember that if you delete a file off the Dropbox folder on your desktop, it's going to go in the recycling bin and you have to empty the recycling bin. As a side note, if these are very sensitive files, that is imperative that no one can ever get access to them, deleting them off your computer and deleting them off the uh, re emptying recycling bin doesn't delete them off your computer. They're still stored on the computer. It's just a reference to those are gone. So you actually need to go out and download and install a program that wipes your free space on your computer to permanently delete those files. So ju that's just a heads up uh, in case you're deleting something that you don't want any trace of. But in saying that, uh, for most people, just deleting it here and emptying recycling bin should suffice. Now, when you do that, like I said, Dropbox itself will keep a copy of this file for 30 days or longer, depending on your account. So if I go here now on my Dropbox account and look at this little trash icon in the corner, it says show deleted files. And as well down on the left hand side, I have the option there for deleted files. So if I go ahead and select this now, it will refresh the screen and you see the two files I deleted are here and they're indicated that they are deleted, but they're still here. Same thing as if I go into deleted files here. And you can see that my two deleted files are here as well. Now, if you look on the right hand side, if I choose this option here, I have the option to restore these files. So I can actually choose restore and they'll go right back into my Dropbox account and go right back into my Dropbox folder. So if these were very sensitive files that you didn't want anyone to have access, if someone had access to your Dropbox account, they could restore those files easily. So they're not permanently deleted. So I'm going to just go back here on the mainstream. So if you notice when I had this selected, that we have the option to restore, but we also have the option to permanently delete. If I right click on the file, same thing, we have the option to restore, we have the option to permanently delete, and if I go into delete the files here, I have the option to restore, or I have the option to permanently delete. So, with the files deleted off your Dropbox account, if you, uh, if they're not a major concern, you're just cleaning up your account and deleting unneeded files, then you don't need to do anything further. After 30 days or a year, those files will get deleted off your account and it's not going to be a concern. But if you want these files deleted immediately, then you need to permanently delete them. So I'm going to go ahead and permanently delete this test folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on permanently delete and I showed you the other ways of doing the same thing and then click permanently delete. So now this file is gone off of Dropbox's server. It cannot be restored. It is deleted. And if I skip to my recycling bin, it'll be deleted there as well. I'm going to go ahead and restore my, uh, my zip file because I'll probably use that in future videos. But as you can see, I hit restore. Now the file is back here 
and the file I've showed up back here again. So it's fully restored and available for me to use again. So that's how you do it. That's how you permanently delete files off your Dropbox account. If you have any questions, go ahead and enter, ask them below, and I'll certainly get back to you or create a follow-up video to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe. I will be releasing lots and lots of videos in the future. Love to hear from you. Have a great day.